Good day, students. It's class time, your daily session for CSEC and CAPE students. Watch lessons in real time on Television Jamaica's YouTube channel or on One Spot Media. We're also live on GoJamaica.com. If you have questions on today's subjects, you can send them to Television Jamaica's Facebook page at Television Jamaica or Instagram at television underscore Jamaica using the hashtag TVJ class time. Our subjects for today are theater arts and English literature for CSEC and for CAVE students, sociology. I am Vanessa Gardner and I'll be guiding you through today's theater arts lesson. We're going to be looking at theater personnels. When you think of Theater personnel. What comes to mind? Oh, so purses working on stage to put together production. Very good. But what are some of those titles that we assign to those persons? Ah, if you're saying playwright, director, producer, you are correct. Now, when we think of theater personnel, we think of a team, or better yet, members of a family working together to achieve a specific objective. And in this case, the objective is mounting or staging a successful theatrical performance. So today, you will differentiate among the roles tasks, and relationships of theater personnel. And by the end of the lesson, you will be able to explain the roles and responsibilities of at least three theater personnel. You will also identify the three stages of the production process, and you will also be able to list the traits of the different theater personnel. Here we have a production staff hierarchy. Now this diagram shows us how each member of the family works together so that we can have a successful production. Marco, it doesn't matter which tier they're on. They're all important. Now look at these pictures. So one, we are seeing a production taking place. The other picture, it seems as though they are getting ready for a performance or planning, the planning stage. And the other picture shows us personnel packing up. Now, these three pictures talks about the stages of production. So, in stage one, we have the planning and creating. In stage two, the production, which is the performance, what all of us come to see. Yes, and the third, we have the post-production, and that's when we will be striking the set, taking the set down and all. So here are some of the theater personnel that are normally working on the different stages. So for the pre-production, we have the playwright, the producer, property manager, artistic director, choreographer, stage manager, designers, technical director, and then for the production, we have the stage manager, the assistant stage manager, house manager, performers, technicians, wardrobe mistress, makeup artist, and for the post-production, we also have the property manager, stage manager, assistant stage manager, house manager, stage hands, wardrobe mistress. Look, we have three stages. Everybody, it, it doesn't matter which stage, works together for the successful production. All right, so we're going to be making a house today. Just so you know, I don't really know how to make a house. But the little knowledge that I have, I'm going to try something. All right, so move over with me to the whiteboard. So, 
when we are making a house, we must have a plan. Not true. Yeah, man. So we have a plan. And when we're making the house, that plan is called the what? Yeah, man, the blueprint. Mm -hmm. So when we're making a house, we must have a plan, and the plan is called the blueprint. In order to carry out the plan, we're going to need money, not true. We can't build a house and we don't have no money. Yes, yeah, so we're going to need money. So we can buy the material. And when we get the money, then we can start by building our house. But hmm, we're going to need to hire persons. So the first person we are going to hire is a contractor. And the contractor will hire subcontractors. And then the subcontractors will come with their skilled men, technicians. Yes. I don't know what they call it in Outland, but they will come with technicians. Yes. So you, so you have a, a little clue what I'm talking about. So... We are making the house. You see how the house looks nice? Mm -hmm. So this is what we'll be making today. All right. So earlier on, we realized and we we're making our house. We need a what? A blueprint. Who provides the blueprint? All right. So I will not be working alone today. I am going to be inviting Miss Bloomfield to do a role play of the different theater personnel. And so... The first one we'll be looking at is the playwright. No, no, she's not coming. No, wait, no. True. So the playwright, like I said, this person is the one that is responsible for the blueprint, the man with the plan. The person who writes the play, this playwright responsibility or role, he or she should write the setting description, write the dialogue and stage directions, Make changes or revisions if necessary. And look here. All of these theater personnel, you know, them have different traits, different strengths. And one trait for the playwright is he must be creative and he has to love right. Right? Another trait is he should be able to pay attention to details. Has a strong vocabulary. And of course, must be an avid reader. So when we have, go back over to the board with me. So there we have the plan. So in order for us to carry out the plan, we need money. And who is the person that spend all this money? Who is the money man? Yes, um, Mr. Mr. McDonald, yes. I want to get the theaters for two weekends, yes. Mm hmm But that price sounds steep, man. Um, all right. Let me take it on a trial and error basis. We can do the first weekend, and, and depending on how the first weekend do, we can have a little negotiation about the price for the second week. Yes, yes, man. Mm hmm All right. So this person is negotiating with the theater persons. Who could this person be? If you are shouting producer, yes, that's the money man, the producer, the person responsible for the financial and managerial aspects of staging the production. This person secures the financial backing, selects the script, leases the theater, hires production personnel, and is the ultimate authority in the theatrical production. All right. So, the producer can't do the work by himself, you know. You think so? No. And I know you're going to say, but miss, when I go to visit Patrick Brown play, is the playwright, is the producer, is the director. But him can't do all of that by himself. Yes, he works as the playwright and as the producer and as the director. But then he, he, he have other people work with him. Yeah, man. And so we need somebody to creatively interpret the script. And I wonder who will be that person? 
Carla? Yes, we're going to take Act 1, Scene 1 on the stage. Yes, everybody in your positions. Quickly, please. Yes, we're going to go now. All right. Uh, Jim, last time when you were doing it, I didn't really like the way you, you, you talked to Gloria, you know? I want you to remember Gloria is your wife. Yes, man. How would a wife talk to the husband? Yes, you have to feel the character. Feel the character. And when you come in, Jim, I want you to step in like a man. A real man. Ah. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. The creative interpreter of the script. This person coordinates the work of the performers, designers, and the crew. He is responsible for selecting the cast, ensures the performers understand it, and he blocks the scene. Yes. And the director must have some strengths, must have some traits. And some of these traits are, he must be creative. And he should be a strategic thinker. A good analyst communicates effectively, good at decision making, and must have a strong leadership skill. Now, the director needs somebody to work closely with him. And in working closely with the director, this person takes his notes. Better yet, let us say this person is his secretary. Hmm. Stand by for SFX one. Um, yes, I was able to secure the, the prop for scene three, but I'm having a problem to secure the prop for scene five. Yes, but I'm going to call him back and ensure, yes. Oh, and I should call in uh, the, the, the technician for tomorrow's rehearsal. No problem. I'll put that on the schedule, sir. Yes, quickly. <laughs> All right. This person is the stage manager. I'm sure you're shouting stage manager. And the stage manager is the person who assists the director and manages the backstage during the production activity. He or she acts as the representative of the director, takes over the role of the director when the show opens, and lives between the cast and crew and the production management and coordinates what happened on stage. All these family members possess their own traits and a stage manager should be organized and works well on the pressure, should be assertive and an effective leader, must be confident, knows the script, pays attention to details, must be proficient with various modes of communication and should also be competent with calculations and measurements. Now remember, when we were talking about her, huh? all right, so we're going to pause right here and come back. So stay with us. Here, interactive classes for all ages on the School Time channel on OneSpotMedia.com. With a combination of live Zoom classes and recorded class time, schools not out lessons, and numerous educational content, we've created a comprehensive 24-hour channel dedicated exclusively to educating our nation's youth. Early childhood through to primary, secondary and tertiary, it's one stop on one spot for education, 24 hours. Brought to you by the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information in association with Television Jamaica Limited. Reduce your risk of viral illnesses like the flu and coronavirus. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water. Cover your nose and mouth when coughing with a tissue and dispose of it. 
avoid close contact with anyone with a cold or flu-like symptoms. If you become ill, please visit your doctor or the nearest health center and share your travel history. The flu and coronavirus can kill. Let's protect each other. A message from the Ministry of Health and Wellness. Hi there, I'm Simon Preston from TVJ. Thank you very much for watching our YouTube channel. To see our latest videos and also to see live events, click here. To see our full videos on onespotmedia.com, click here. Thank you very much. It's here. Interactive classes for all ages on the School Time channel on onespotmedia.com. With a combination of live Zoom classes and recorded class time, schools not out lessons, and numerous educational content, we've created a comprehensive 24-hour channel dedicated exclusively to educating our nation's youth. Early childhood through to primary, secondary and tertiary, it's one stop on one spot for education, 24 hours. Brought to you by the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information in association with Television Jamaica Limited. COVID-19 tip. Protect yourself and others from getting sick by washing your hands after coughing or sneezing when caring for the sick, before, during, and after you prepare food, before eating, after toilet use, when hands are visibly dirty, and after handling animals or animal waste. It's here. Interactive classes for all ages on the School Time channel on onespotmedia.com. With a combination of live Zoom classes and recorded class time, schools not out lessons, and numerous educational content, we've created a comprehensive 24-hour channel dedicated exclusively to educating our nation's youth. Early childhood. <laughs> Welcome back. Before the break, we were looking at the theatre personnel in terms of the designer. And we said that the designers are the subcontractors. Yeah? And the, sub the designers, we have the set designer, costume designer, the light designer, or the sound designer. And these persons are responsible for the arrangement and function of the scenery, the costumes, the installation and the rigging of the lights, the music and sound effects. You see, we can't work with just one person. It's a team, family members. The designers must be creative and strategic, must be knowledgeable of special tools and techniques as an eye for detail, communicates effectively with art, and commits to tasks given. So we remember earlier on when we were building a house, we said that the subcontractors, they would employ skilled men. So the skilled men are now our technicians. So the technicians are the persons responsible for operating the sound and lighting boards during the performance. The technician must know the script. They're going to be reading the script and prepare the cue sheets. 
They also prepare the devices necessary for the light and sound. They are responsible for creating special effects like fog, thunder, and, and these persons, you normally see them using the microphones or any playback devices. And the technicians should be creative, should be a good team player. They should learn and process information quickly. And also they should commit to any task given. So the house is almost finished. But you know, before the occupiers move in, we're going to need persons to ensure that the place is clean. So the designers put up the finishing touch and so, you know. And so these persons, they are now going to ensure that the seats are clean. Everything is ready. And these persons, what was that, Joel? Yes, front of house manager. Yes, so the front of house manager is the person in charge of all the affairs in regards to the admission and comfort of the patrons. These persons manage the reception and the sales of tickets. They see to the comfort of the audience, monitor, manage, and review the catering and cleaning contracts, deliver the professional greetings for clients and visitors in its highest standard. Some of the traits for the house manager, look here. You don't want to go to a theater and as some daddy daddy person like Miss Gardner come up and greet you. No, not true. No. And so the front of house manager, they must be charismatic. Yes, man. They must be hospitable, assertive, modest, and most important, trustworthy. So the house finished now. The house is finished. And so we have some persons who occupy the house. I wonder who could that be? Jesus, Gloria, Gloria. We are the seats tonight, Gloria. Gloria. Jim. Calm down, man. Be a man. They're shooting up the house. They're shooting up the house. All oh. right, Jim, but you're not know, happy to behave like that. Gosh, man. Gloria, my mind is dashing. My mind dashing all over the place, Gloria. Mind your pressure, Jim. This pressure you are talking about? Gloria, you know, sister, we're dead tonight, go. You're going to wake Papa and remember him not feeling well. By the way, sister, Glow, you did take up the manure around the front. <sighs> Gloria, but you don't think that we thief the... Yes. And so the occupiers of the house, the performers. Yes, so the performers are the persons on stage presenting characters in a dramatic action or dance. The performers, they must rehearse and memor memorize lines and blockings. They should interpret serious or comic role by speech, gesture, and body movement to entertain or inform the audience. The performers, they should take cues from the director. They should entertain, convey characters, and express emotion in front of an audience. The performers too, have different traits. They should be flexible and creative. They should be a good team player. Would you say Miss Bloomfield was a good team player? Yes, man. All right, so they must follow instructions well, learn lines and movement quickly, and commit to given task. Wow. And so if you want more information, on stage personnel or theater personnel, you can refer to J. Mason Theater Arts for the Caribbean School, Book 1, 2, and 3, or Keith Noel Carlong Caribbean Drama for the Classroom. So, now that we build the house, let us do a recap. Back to the whiteboard. So, 
We have the blueprint. And the blueprint is the plan. And who is the blueprint when it comes to the theater? Yes, Anika. Yes, the playwright. And we cannot have a plan if we don't have money to carry out the plan. And who we go to? Yes, Nathan. Yes, the producer. The money man. And the producer employs persons. And the contractors are... The director or the choreographer, yes. And the director and choreographer employ subcontractors. And these subcontractors are? Come on, man. Who are the subcontractors? Yes. The designers. And then the designers will take their technicians. And the technicians will do the finished touch on the theater. And then... We have some persons who ensure that the audience is comfortable. Who is that? Very good. The stage manager. Stage manager? Front of house manager. All right. And also, which theater personnel works on the three stages of the production? Stage manager. Yes. Very good. And the occupiers of the house would be the, the performers. Very good. So you are following. Now, you have homework, you know. You know Miss Garden now. Let's not give you homework. And so you're going to state the roles and responsibilities of the, these theatre personnel. And, you know, earlier on, I showed you the production hierarchy. I want you to put those persons on the hierarchy like this. All right? Ooh. Wait, what's happening? All right, so this is a typical theater hierarchy. Any tier of the hierarchy, all persons work together. So here we have the producer or board of directors. From the producer, we have the artistic director or the managing director. Here, from the artistic director, we have the director, the choreographer, the musical director. And I'm sure you're saying, Miss Gardner, but it's Wally Padem, you know. And I know, but I'm just showing you, because of time, we can't go through all of this. But you can consult your CSEC syllabus on page 14. There, it will tell you the theater personnel that you need to know for your exams. So we know that CXC no longer, CXC is not doing um, opinionated questions anymore. So, here are some multiple choice questions as it relates to theatre personnel. Which member of the production team is responsible for ensuring that the door on the set works efficiently? Which member of the production team is responsible for ensuring that the door on the set works efficiently? Is it A, stage crew? Is it B, the set designer? Is it C, the construction crew? No, sir, it must be D, the stage manager. <laughs> what was that, Davia? Very good. The answer is B, the set designer. Another possible question, based on the content, or better yet, you are asked to look at a musical. Who are the members of the production team that would be needed for the musical? Is it A, playwright and director? B, the actors and set designer? Hmm. Or is it C, stage manager and producer? Or is everybody? So it's D. Which is the answer? Very good, Dejan. All of the above. Remember, one person can't put on a production. Two persons can't put on a production. So it takes everyone. 
Another question. In what stage or stages of a production would the stage manager be needed? Hmm. Remember, we have three stages, you know. We have one, the pre-production stage. We have the production stage. And then we have the post-production. Where would the stage manager be needed? Is it A, the pre-production and post-production stage? Is it B, the post-production and production stage? Or better yet, it must be C, the pre-production, production, and post-production? No. It is D, the production only. Hmm. Jonathan, what is that? Which is the answer? <laughs> yes, very good. C, so the stage manager works on the pre-production, the production, and the post-production stage. Now, which theater personnel makes the blueprint for the production? Is it the money man, the producer? Or it is B, the playwright. It's C, not true, the director. Because I know it's not D, the designer. Who is this person responsible for the blueprint? Ah, very good. The playwright. Let us recap the lesson. Oops. All right, so there are three stages. So we have the pre, the performance, and the product, the post-production, yes. And the pre-production, we do what? We plan or create, while the production is the actual performance. And after the actual performance, we must take down our set. We must strike the set. And for the pre-production, we have various persons that work with the pre-production. And some of these persons are the playwright, yes, the producer, property manager, artistic director, choreographer, stage manager, designers, technical director. And for the production, we have the stage manager, the assistant stage manager, the front of house manager, stage hands, performers, technicians, wardrobe mistress, makeup artist, and for the post-production, we have property manager, stage manager, assistant stage manager, house manager, stage hands, and wardrobe mistress. Now, remember, the person who writes the blueprint is the playwright, and this person is responsible for the start of the production. And this, the, the producer is the person with the money. And so the producer will select the script from the playwright, secures the financial backing, and the producer will employ the director. All right? So when the producer employs the director, who is the creative interpreter of the script, the director can't do, it, do, do this by himself because remember we say it's, they are family members, yes. So the director call on somebody else from the family. And the closest person the director call on, we call the, very good, the stage manager. And so after the director get the stage manager, we say the stage, the stage manager is like his secretary, yeah? Mm -hmm. So the, pro, the stage manager is the director's secretary. The stage manager helps the director to schedule rehearsal, make the important calls, makes the note, take the notes, you name it. But then the director also called the specialist people, the skilled men who are the designers, because we cannot put on the musical if the set pop down, if the costume them not fit the thing, and the light and the sound, the spectacle of the production must be present and so the director would employ designers. These designers would also have their technicians and these technicians are responsible for operating the sound and the lighting boards during the performance. You realize how everybody is important? Mm -hmm. 
And then we have the production. And when we're having the production, we have members who cease to the comfort of the audience. And these persons are known as the front of house or the front of house manager. And like I said, the front of house, they must be charismatic, hospitable, assertive, modest, trustworthy. And the occupiers of the house, who are they? Yes, the performers. And I'm going to invite Miss Bloomfield one more time, and we're going to be looking at Trevor own script, Two Can Play. And we're just going to be looking at maybe some of the lines and how we can direct them. You remember when the director came on, at first the director asked Jim to behave like a man because he was behaving too much like a woman. Come, Miss Bloomfield. And so we are going to be using Two Can Play by Trevor on the script. <clears throat> Gloria. Yes, Jim. Do you think Jim sounds like a man? In my favor. Act like man, not true. He act too much like girl. All right. Gloria. Yes, Jim. <laughs> it's war outside, Gloria. Gloria! Go to sleep, Jim. Gloria, they're shooting up the place, Gloria! They're shooting up the place. Jim, calm down, mind your pressure. <laughs> and what? Papa in the room sleeping and him don't feel well. My brain dashing, dashing all over the place. All right, Jim, try to calm down, man. You don't have to go on like that. Oh, we must go on, Gloria. Calm down, Jim. Me afraid to, you know. But you can't live in a community like this, and so Freddy, Freddy. The performers must know the script. And so, Jim need to consult the script. Gloria, come Gloria, where are you going? All right, and so let us try and play the characters of Jim and Gloria using the actual words of the person that writes the blueprint. Gloria. Yes, Jim. <laughs> Here they, it's war out there, Gloria. We are under siege tonight. Go to sleep, Jim. But Gloria, it's getting closer. Put a pillow over your head. It's getting closer, still listen. Where are you going, Gloria? Gloria, just stay with me, Gloria. Ah. So it's imperative that the performers knows the script. It's important that the performers know the script. All right, so I know you have learned something and I'm looking for the assignment. Please ensure you finish the assignment. And that's it for CSEC Theater Arts. Up next is CSEC English Literature. Here, interactive classes for all ages on the School Time channel on OneSpotMedia.com. With a combination of live Zoom classes and recorded class time, schools not out lessons, and numerous educational content, we've created a comprehensive 24-hour channel dedicated exclusively to educating our nation's youth. Early childhood through to primary, secondary and tertiary, it's one stop on one spot for education, 24 hours. Brought to you by the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information in association with 